Hello and welcome back to my channel Anshika Goel Illustrator and it's time to level up your illustrations. So today we are going to illustrate this extremely beautiful bridal lehenga designed by Manish Malhotra and worn by Sara Ali Khan. So we are going to illustrate this. This lehenga has very minute detailings and heavy embroidery of Zari and Zardozi. So we uh, need watercolors as well as pencil color for the same. Here is the line art and you can see this reference picture. I have drawn this line art from this picture. So you can do the same. And once the line art is done, we have to erase and don't erase it much. You just need impression of the pencil. So here we have got the impression. Take the red sketch as the color of lehenga is maroon. So you can do two things. Uh, if you are using watercolor, you can mix the colors. Red and black, make the maroon and then apply. Or otherwise, just do it with a red sketch and apply black pencil color over it. To get the same color, we will apply the black color over it. And for Zuri and Zardozi work, I'm applying light yellow as a base coat, then lemon and mustard color in some parts of the embroidery to make it look shiny. You know, there are a lot of stones, beautiful pearls and everything is used in this embroidery and they are shiny, they reflect light. So we need to depict that shine. For that, you have to apply three colors, light yellow, lemon yellow, and mustard. So you can see a quite a beautiful effect is coming in the blouse and the color has also become maroon. So same thing we will do here. Wherever there is embroidery, leave that part. We have to do yellow there. And where there is no embroidery, we have to do and fill that space with the red color. So repeat out this procedure. And this is very important part of this lehenga. If any design get spoiled, then your whole illustration will spoil. You need to do it with very carefully, with careful hands. Don't hurry over here. Take your time and do it nicely because embroidery is the main thing over here in this lehenga. So we need to do that with patience. So I'm drawing out all the embroidery and then filling the left out space with red. We have to do this in whole lehenga where there is maroon color over there. Repeating the same procedure throughout the lehenga. Be careful while drawing these lines because these are very minute detailings that we have to look on and be careful. No space should be left. Make sure about it. And there shouldn't be any design that has been left or anything. So once it is done, apply black color over it, it to make it look like a maroon color and I'm just applying it with very light hands and then fill the embroidery with light yellow with very light hand make sure that your black color doesn't touch your embroidery part that will spoil your embroidery so be careful then apply dark yellow in some parts of embroidery not in whole part you can see i'm some of the area i'm leaving light yellow only and some with dark and wherever you are adding that dark yellow you have to add mustard over there repeat the same procedure in each and every embroidery of the lehenga we will repeat the same thing in the dupattas also. There are two dupattas in this lehenga. One is of green color and another is of red. 
so you can see in the border also i have added mustard and dark yellow in some parts not in overall border and giving detailings with red as you can observe in the picture also these detailings are given by the maroon color only so i'll detail it out with the red pen and then add black touch over that do it with a lot of patience and careful hand give each and uh, every type of detailing whether it's a pearl stone or any work don't miss anything you need to be very careful while observing observation plays a vital role over here so you can see color has changed basic embroidery is done now you have to add shine because there are a lot of pearls and stones work has been done over here and what happens if you will observe any heavily embroidered garment there are a lot of shine that is that reflects it happens so you need to observe if you will uh, observe the real lehenga you can see somewhere the light is reflecting yellow somewhere they are reflecting white so i'm not filling this with all over white but yeah giving some dots over it some of the dots and leave some part of yellow only i'm using whitener for these dots you can use white nail paint or acrylic that will be great or even white pen so if you are not having any of these you can use whitener as well so you can see i'm not filling all of the embroidery with white but i'm just adding some touch of it like the way we do of black mostly this will make your lehenga look, look very realistic the embroidery will come out very well you can check out the difference in above and the below part of the embroidery so white touch is very very necessary while doing any kind of embroidery or even you are using any shiny fabric this is very important thing to remember so fill this out in each and every embroidery part don't miss out any design repeating the same technique in overall embroidery part adding this flower kind of pattern over this embroidery you can observe the lehenga you can see this kind of design over there and adding more touch of white in the border there is heavy white shine that is reflecting so we need to add more and more of touch white touch over here and once this is done you can add mustard if you think that this color is needed over there or this more of white has been filled so you can add more of yellow over there give detailing with the red pen then coming on to the border part of dupattas so it's the same design is there only so what we are doing is the same technique lemon yellow then mustard over it and the darker yellow for the borders because the borders are very shiny because they are heavily embroidered so we need to reflect that by using this color so here is the detailing with the red pen add black touch over there the same design we have done in the below part of lehenga same we have to add over here so basically this is how we need to illustrate our bridal lehengas this is a very easy thing uh, that we can apply in each and every bridal lehenga you can make up the design and fill every embroidery part with this three color of yellow and then add whatever the base coat is red blue maroon pink whatever you can add detailings with the pen so this is the technique that we use in almost bridal lehengas so wherever there is embroidery part you do that with this yellow color and detailing with the pen so in dupatta there is kind of orangish shade 
for so for that we are filling it with yellow and then we will do red over it to make its shade look lighter and brighter and some brown color then drawing the border after that adding red color again smudge it well use tissue if you need it adding more uh, red over there making folds also draw the fold line and then merge now you can see we have left some yellow part as it is and take the wet brush it shouldn't have much water in it but it should be wet and then smudge wherever you have applied this red thing smudge over there so it will create smoothness in your illustration it will make your strokes look smooth and shiny so do this step very carefully it shouldn't spread in your embroidery part make sure about it now you can see uh, it has become smooth and nice so add the darker touch wherever needed i'm adding a bit of black in these two folds that is coming in a dupatta adding black touch to show my fold areas as the dupatta is falling downward so there are a lot of fold that are arising over this part so we have to show them carefully and nicely it is very important thing to show our folds and falls once this is done you can add wet brush over it to create smoothness so the basic is done the basics are done now let's do another dupatta the same procedure we have to repeat light yellow in the base then dark yellow and mustard for depicting our shine and then draw the detailings with red pen so after this effect let's draw the detailings with the pen so be careful while doing this because this is the design that has been used in each and every border of this lehenga and that should be of correct size it should be proportionate to all the designs wherever you have added this design in the borders making more design over here that is shown in the lehenga it's better to draw it with pencil first and then add pen over it so i'll fill the left of space with red total red once it is done and you can also see over here that these are the repeated design that has been used in the lehenga border as well as another dupatta border but what will change over here is that this is a georgia dupatta of quite green color so it's grayish green and for that i'm using this marker gray marker to show my dupatta part and then darker gray to show my fold area you can use watercolor for this or even pencil color this is optional and up to you in which you are comfortable if you are having these marker or sketch pen you can use it fill the color in between the embroidery also
and then again give the white touches over the border each and every border that you have given so adding touch of white and you can see a nice effect are coming over there shiny effects are coming that is what we need to do in each and every garment that we are making with heavy embroideries Once the white touches are done, then you have to add touch and dots of lemon yellow and mustard on the zari and zardozi part. Wherever you have left the yellow part, you have to add dots over it of yellow. So I am taking these colors, mustard, dark and lemon yellow. So I am adding some dots of it. If you have poster color or acrylic color, you can add dot with that or even you can use pen for the same to give a balance in the white dot and the yellow part we are adding these dots so that it will create a balance and a good shiny effect will come over here because there are a lot of stones and beautiful things being used in Zari Zardozi so to depict that, to depict that reflection, we have to add both dots. It is basically we are depicting shine. So white shine we have done. Now we are showing this yellow shines. It is looking far better right now. So add these dots in all over part of yellow. Once this is done, make some stars over the patta or lehenga or in the border, wherever there is embro embroidery. So this is for depicting more of shine. Adding some stones over here. Because it's a georgia dupatta and it's quite translucent, so back and front side are visible. Hence the embroidery of back view is also visible. So for that, we are randomly adding these dots. Now let's add some detailings with red again. So I'm again detailing it out with red to show more part of red and then add black touch over it wherever you need this touch to be added, add over there. Because the overall color of lehenga should be same, it, sh it is maroon so it should look maroon in overall. adding folds to my dupatta because dupatta is blank right now so adding folds with darker gray not much a bit so it will look good folds are very important to depict wherever you think that there should be folds arising you need to give this this dupatta is very flowy and also heavily embroidered and it is falling downward so obviously it will not show in a flat manner it will not f uh, fall in a flat manner so there must be some falls so last but not the least this is a lehenga, a heavily embroidered lehenga, but yeah, there will definitely some folds that would have been arising. You can see the picture also. So for that, I'm using this red marker or you can use red pencil color. I'm not making a lot of fold over here, but few folds. And then applying black shade over that. 
and don't rub it hard don't apply it hard because this lehenga is having a lot of embroidery so our folds will fall very smoothly over here if it would be have been a printed lehenga or a lehenga with very less of embroidery then we will depict a lot of fold but here this is heavily embroidered so hame ek smoothness rakhni hai we need to show that smoothness in fold as well that's why so now the effect is coming well i'm applying marker again or you can apply wet brush over it and see the effects that are coming the folds are looking very smooth the effects are coming very well so adding gray touch to my folds in the dupatta as well it's optional if you think the shade has been disappear or you need to add more shade to it you can do the same and our lehenga part is almost done we are done with our lehenga now turn comes for a okay. i'm applying this wet brush over the dupatta to make smooth texture so we are all done with our lehenga part after this we need to do our skin rendering hair rendering and the jewelry you can watch my separate tutorials for all of them or you can watch it here and the folds are looking so nice so for skin i am applying skin color for the base skin pencil color and then apply wet brush over it to give smooth texture and do contour contouring with brown pencil or mustard pencil and as i said you can watch out my separate tutorials for both skin rendering and the hair rendering you can watch that in my previous videos skin rendering is very important and essential part of fashion illustration because nothing is complete without skin rendering as well as our hair rendering so we need to do it gracefully the way we did the lehenga show each and every detailing of our skin like the burst armpit navel point then smooth it once the rendering is completed and the smoothing is completed apply brown pen or pencil over the detailed areas like the jaw line the navel point the burst point so we need to clarify it with the brown pencil and here are the hands in which there is big round rings so give detailing over there too for jewelry do it with watercolor base coat and then apply your pen and stedler over it to show the minute detailing so i'm giving some dots like this adding black touch because it's maroon pearls over here and then giving more dots with lemon yellow adding black touch bit of black touch not much to depict the shadows once the detailing is done add white touch to depict white bright shine of the pearls and more dots in the below red section to add more pearls over here make mang tikka add dots with yellow the same procedure we have to repeat in each and every part of detailing of our jewelry so we are doing this in earring mark dika and in the kangan also we will do the same pro procedure because it is very minute detailing it is having and we can't make all of it in such a small sections then 
adding brown over hairs and then we are going to smudge it and apply wet brush over it to smooth you can observe the pictures of Sara Ali Khan to give the same skin tone as well as the color tone over here adding black touch because shadow falls in the hair also remember that in the back side here and smooth it with wet brush again then let it dry apply it all over the hair and let it dry once it is dry then apply for strokes apply this sketch brown sketch and give strokes this way for my rings and the bangles we have to repeat same thing done in jewelry and now our beautiful beautiful model is totally ready to set on fire but before that outlining yeah outlining adds on the grace of illustration this is what i always say in each and every video of my illustration so outlining all of my skin part as well as the lehenga part skin with the brown color lehenga with the black color or you can add the same color outline like red lehenga red outline so it will finish out very well and this is done the lehenga embroidery color effects jewelry everything is looking extremely beautiful and wonderful so this is how we used to illustrate each and every bridal hanger thank you so much for watching watching and if you like the video then do subscribe to my channel hit the like button and also the bell icon so that for my every new video you guys will be notified stay tuned namaste